Well, it will not be long before roads around western New York look just like this one. The city of Buffalo had planned to update its snow removal plan after some complaints last winter. But a few members of the Common Council told us today there is still no update. Channel 2's Rob Hackford has more with winter quickly approaching. Rob? Scott and Mary Ellis, it was back in February that the Common Council called for a second look at the city's snow removal plan after a messy winter with some back to back storms led to numerous complaints from neighbors. The idea was that by looking at some of the issues, adjustments could be made to the Department of Public Works plan. Those ideas would then be presented to the Common Council, but so far Council Member Rashid Wyatt says they haven't received an update, so he's now pushing to get one. The Buffalo DPW is in the middle of hiring a new commissioner, so while the city has plenty of experienced staff, that may be one of the reasons for the delay Wyatt pointed to. A few Council Members also said it wouldn't be odd to get an update by November. Wyatt, however, says September would have been his preference to allow time to look over the update. Why it now wants to hear from the DPW next Tuesday during the Council's Community Development Committee meeting. We're going to ask for Public Works to come before us, the interim commissioner, whoever, to let us know what the plan is so that we can let the residents know um, that we're there in good hands this year and that we won't have a repeat performance of last year. Well, that is an open invitation. We do not know that we do know rather that sidewalk snow plowing will not be included in the city's updated plan because there was not money in the budget for it. GPS plow tracking is still a possibility, but again, there's the question of money. Wyatt said he'd like to see American Rescue Plan funding used for something snow related. However, updated the city's snow removal plan is really only a matter of time, but there is plenty of push and we'll to see changes with the remaining time before winter quickly ticking away. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.